What's up guys, my name is Amir. Welcome back to the channel. So if you've been following budget and mid-range phones, in the past couple of years, you must have noticed that some of the best selling phones have had a MediaTek G-Series chipset. Some of my personal favorites have been the Redmi Note 8 Pro, which was a huge fan favorite. You guys loved it as well than the Realme 6. Both had Helio G90T chipsets and in the lower mid-range and budget price segments that was the Xiaomi Redmi 9 with the Helio G80 and Realme C3 with the Helio G70 and all these phones had one thing in common. They all performed better than their peers in the same price segment in terms of benchmarks and gaming performance. So much so that some of these phones were putting out benchmark scores that you could compare to phones that were priced much higher than them. And we will check out some benchmark comparisons later on in the video. But first we're going to talk about me MediaTek, the company and its footprint in the world of tech and smart gadgets and also about its Helio G series and what makes it so great. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on future videos. MediaTek is a Taiwan-based fabless semiconductor company which sells chips for all sorts of cellular and smart products. And a few days ago, Mr. Rami Usman of MediaTek did a webinar with the tech influencers here in Pakistan. And he shared facts and stats about MediaTek that even I didn't know. For example, MediaTek sells around 1.5 billion chips annually. That's a lot of chips. For context, here in Pakistan, we sell a total number of 12 million phones every year. So 1.5 billion is a huge number. Then globally, every one in five devices has a MediaTek processor in it. They power everything from Amazon Alexa to smart TVs. And if we look at the device-wise market share rankings for processors in different product groups, MediaTek is number one in Android tablets, number one in feature phones, number one in voice assistants and smart speakers, number one in routers, number one in TVs, and number two for smartphones. But according to CounterPoint research, MediaTek has gained quite a bit of market share even up to last year. And now they're basically three percentage points away from the top slot. So it is entirely possible and I would say highly likely that MediaTek will take over the top slot, especially considering their foray into the flagship processor market with their Dimensity lineup. Previously, MediaTek was primarily catering to budget and mid-range smartphones, but now they're going to go into flagship phones. And I think that will also have an impact but while we're on the topic, let's talk about MediaTek's different lineups of processors and let's see where the G series fits in. So MediaTek now has four main smartphone processor lineups. On the top is that Dimensity lineup for flagship and 5G phones. Then we have the A series and the P series, which cater to the budget and mid-range price segments. But one of their most interesting lineups, as well as the focus of today's video, is the G series, which is a gaming lineup catering specifically to gamers in the budget and mid-range price segments. So we have the Helio G25 and G35 for phones priced at around $80 to $120. Then we have the G70 and G80 for phones priced at around $150. And then we have the G90T, which is my personal favorite, for phones priced at around $180 to about $220. Now, this G series has really stood out in the world of phones for its superior gaming performance. And what's made this sort of performance possible is a focus on what it is that makes a good gaming experience. So there shouldn't be much lag. The touch response of your phone should be good. Then we have good graphics or good image on the display of your phone. And then we have good resource management in order to supply power to all of the different components that need it and also manage the thermals of the phone. So these four basic gaming priorities is what MediaTek has focused on with their Hyper Engine gaming technology. So within this Hyper Engine, we have four separate engines looking at each of the things that I just mentioned. So we have the networking engine, which works to keep your gaming experience lag free as much as possible. It does this by intelligently managing your internet connection, whether you're connected to 4G or Wi-Fi or both concurrently, or if you're gaming in a crowded space or switching between Wi-Fi and 4G, there are just so many situations that could cause your game to lag and the job of this networking engine is to prevent that from happening. And MediaTek also has a network performance certification from TUV Rhineland for this. Then there's a rapid response engine and what this does is that it works to reduce the touch to display time of your phone. That's the time it takes for your phone to react to your touch 
So when you touch it, the phone detects it, does the necessary processing and updates the display. Now this is all done in milliseconds, but as all gamers know, milliseconds matter. So MediaTek G-Series processors offer a touch to display latency of around 16 milliseconds, where normally non-gaming centric phones offer around 40 to 50 milliseconds. Then we have the resource management engine, which basically manages your CPU, GPU, and your APU. And it ensures that all of the tasks have resources appropriately allocated to them as and when required and that thermals are also managed as much as possible. And last but not least is the picture quality engine which has the primary function of delivering a better graphical experience. In the G90T this is what makes technologies like HDR10 possible which allows your phone to display better dynamic range and better colors. And with these powers combined we get Hyper Engine game technology by MediaTek, which has played a key role behind the scenes to ensure that you get a lot of processing power as well as a good gaming experience. And to drive this point home, I'm going to bring those smartphone benchmarks we spoke of earlier. So here you can see that the Redmi Note 8 Pro and Realme 6, both with the Helio G90T chipset, have better benchmark scores than the Galaxy A71, which is $100 to $150 more expensive. You see a similar situation with the Realme C3, which had a G70 chipset set and again it's competing with phones significantly above its price point. And we see this recurring theme with phones that have a MediaTek G-Series chipset. And now MediaTek have also come out with a successor to the G90T with their Helio G95 which offers 5% better CPU performance, 8% better GPU performance and supports up to 10 gigs of RAM up from the 8 gigs that we got last time. You're probably going to see this chipset in action very soon with brands like Xiaomi and Infinix and Realme has already launched their Realme 7 which has also got a Helio G95. So I'm very interested to see how MediaTek performs going forward especially in light of their Dimensity series and their foray into the flagship space and also because of this new G95 and if they continue to perform as they have in the past then I see good things for MediaTek going forward. If you have any thoughts about MediaTek or the G-Series, please leave them in the comment section below. I'd like to thank MediaTek for sponsoring our video today. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like on it and also support the channel by sharing this video. That'll be it for this one. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.